So next we're going to talk about subtraction. And there are a few ways to think about how subtraction should work. And I mean, one is, is just to note that uh, u minus v, and we can take this as a definition if you like, um, u minus v is just u added to minus 1 times v using our definition for scalar multiplication. Um, the, or, or, or if you want, um, simply u plus negative v, where negative v is just v but with uh, minus signs, you know, the sign changed on each of the components. We sort of looked at that earlier. Okay. Uh, and this definition makes sense if you kind of want your algebra to be consistent, right? If you want to have rules that work like the distributive property, um, this is sort of what you need to have, right? Um, if you want every vector to have sort of a multiplicative inverse, if you like, right? Every vector should have a negative, two vectors that you add together to get zero. It's kind of, you're kind of forced into this definition. Um, we looked at that in a previous video, okay? All right. So ultimately all this means is that to subtract two vectors, you subtract the components, right? Um, because if we're doing, in this case, right, uh, u minus v, so it's going to be 3, 1, subtract 1, 2. And so we're just going to do, it's just going to be 3 minus 1 and, and 1 minus 2, but Note that that is the same, and sometimes it is useful um, to first push the negative in, right? Do minus one, minus two, uh, and then add. Um, it reduces the number of sign errors that you make sometimes. So now we do three plus minus one, so three minus one gives me two. One plus minus two, one minus two, gives negative one, right? And if I wanted to sketch these vectors, actually, there's a sort of an interesting thing that happens when we sketch them. Okay, so first the vector u, three, one. So let's go one, two, three, up one, about there. So there's u. V is one, two, over one, up two. Okay, and u minus v, so 2 and negative 1, it's, it's here. Okay, so u minus v is here. Um, but another thing you'll notice is if you shift that up, I could also draw it here, u minus v, like so. Um, and one way to think about that is, you know, this, this makes sense in terms of rules of algebra that if I take v and I add u minus v, right, um, you know, we expect, well, that should be the same thing as doing u minus v plus v. Of course it is. And then we can say, well, that's the same as doing u plus minus v plus v, yeah? Uh, but then the whole point of minus v is that when you add it to v, you get zero. And so the result is u. Um, so some people will, will tell you that for subtraction, there's this tail or this tip to tip rule for subtraction, right? You, you draw the two vectors and the difference goes between the tips. And then you always have to remember, oh, but which way? Does it go from V to U? Does it go from U to V? Um, I, 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 every time I have to pause and think and say, which way does it go? Well, I want it to be in the direction so that when I add V, the V cancels with the minus V and leaves me with U, and that forces it to go that way. 